prevalence and reason for the early introduction of infant in solid foods. A study was conducted to examine the prevalence and self-reported reason of mothers for introduction solid food to infant early than the recommended less than four months of age. The study included 1,334 mothers who participated. Monthly question about the frequency of food during seven days during childhood were used to determine the age of baby in the introduction of solid food and to classify the milk feeding of the baby in the introduction as only breast milk, only formula or mix. The reason for introduction solid food at an age less than four months were evaluated by maternal responses to a list of 12 potential reasons. The American Academy of Pediatrics APP, the American College of Obstetrics and Gynecology and the American Academy of Family Physicians recommended that babies not be introduced to solid foods before six months of age. The early introduction of solid food is worrisome because, from the developmental point of view, smaller babies, especially those younger than four months of age, are not prepared for solid food. In addition, researchers have suggested that the early introduction of solids may increase the risk of some such as diabetes and obesity, eczema, and celiac disease. The early introduction of solids also ends with exclusive breastfeeding and is associated with a shorter duration of breastfeeding. Given the important benefits of breastfeeding milk for the health of babies as lower risk of respiratory and ear infection, diarrhea, diabetes, obesity, and sudden infant death syndrome. Any interference with breastfeeding is a cause for concern. Despite the recommendation of AAP, national studies have shown that many parents do not adhere to the guidelines of infant feeding in the introduction of solid food. To address this problem, several studies have been launched to identify the predictive factor for the early introduction of solid foods. Predictors that have been identified include low maternal education, low maternal age, smoker status, formula feeding and participation in the special supplemental nutrition program for women, infants and children week. Also, studies of infant feeding has been conducted. Little is known about the reason for early introduction. No study has been found that is systematically examined whether the reason for the early introduction of solids vary according to the type of milk feeding. Thus, only breast milk, formula only, or mist. There are many variations in the reason for introduction solid by type of feeding with milk because the women who choose or make the transition from one feeding method to another can be very different from each other. Overall, 40.4% of 1,335 mothers introduced solid food before their babies reached four months of age. Mothers who introduced solid food early were more likely to be younger and married, have a lower educational level and lower incomes, and participate in the WIC program. Among mothers who introduced solid food before four months, the average age of introduction was 11.8 weeks and 90.1% of mothers introduced solids before four weeks of age. Among the women who fed their babies formula when the solids were introduced, 52.7% reported the initial solid before four months of age, compared to 50.2% for missed infant and 24.3% among breastfed infants. The introduction of solid foods in the first month of life was more common among infants fed formula at their time of introduction, 11.2% compared with mist feeding 8.3% and breast milk only 4.5%. The proportion of infants introduced 
into solid food at eight at four, five, and six months of age or older were the highest among infants who received only breast milk, compared to formula and mist-feeding infants. In summary, 40.4% of mothers introduced solid food before four months of age. The most commonly cited reason for the early introduction of solid food were the following. My baby was old enough. My baby seemed hungry. I wanted to feed my baby with more than breast milk or formula. My baby wanted the food I ate. A doctor or other health professional said my baby should start eating solid food and it would help my baby sleep longer at night. Adherence to recommendation for infant feeding in the United States is low. It is estimated that the prevalence of early introduction of solid food less than four months of age in the United States ranges from 19% to 29%. These results reveal that the early introduction of solid food prevails even more among babies fed formula. The story provides key information of, on why mother introduced solid food early than recommended and how the commonly cited reason varied according to the type of milk feeding. This information can be used by health professionals to develop targeted interventions to improve compliance with infant feeding recommendations with the goal of reducing any morbidity associated with early introduction to solid foods.